In this video, you're going to learn how to use text-to-speech avatars. Now, you've most likely heard of text-to-speech, which is where you can type out some text and get an AI-generated voiceover based on that text. But imagine that accompanied with an AI avatar. So that means that you type out your text, you get the AI voiceover, accompanied with a hyper-realistic AI avatar that lip-syncs and basically speaks out the text that you wrote. Something that looks a little bit like this. All I need is a few words from you. Or you can even make your own personal one, so it looks like this. I'm Alex, personal AI avatar. Enjoy the video. So if you're interested in making text-to-speech avatars, let me show you how to do it with Synthesia. So when you're in Synthesia, the first thing you want to do is go and create an account for free, and it's going to be the first link in the description down below. And once you're in your dashboard, what you want to do is go ahead and click on Create New Video, and then we're just going to click on Start From Blank. And we're then taken into Synthesia's editor, which is where we can create our AI text-to-speech accompanied by an avatar. So the very first thing, as you'll notice, we've got our default avatar right here. And if I click on the avatar, in the right side menu, we've got this little menu that pops up, and we can actually then open it up and here we can choose among a bunch of different avatars. Now there's a few different types of avatars. First of all, we have avatars that have the background built in. So you'll notice that if I select Amanda, we've actually got Amanda that's shot within her environment. So these look hyper realistic. But if I go back and we choose Ada, for example, Ada doesn't have a background. So if we were making a presentation or we had any kind of other video that we wanted to overlay commentary on top of, we could use one of these because then the entire background is still visible. Now, if I go back to the avatars, you'll also notice that at the top we have personal avatars. So I could record a snippet of myself and then I could generate an avatar that looks and sounds like me just by typing some text, which is super cool. And I do want to mention that some of the avatars right here have this little purple icon, and this just means that they are expressive avatars. So it means that they adjust their facial expressions, voice, and demeanor based on the script. So the avatars actually take into account what your text is, which is super cool. And then so to actually create the text-to-speech, as you see at the bottom here, we've got this little area. And so we just need to type our text. So let's say I wanted to type out, hello, my name is James. Right, I type this out and then we click play. Hello, my name is James. As you can see, we heard our text to speech, but you might have noticed that our avatar's mouth wasn't actually moving because the avatar wasn't generated. And this is because it only actually generates synced up with your text to speech once you've clicked generate. So I'm just going to show you a quick example of what this would look like once it had been generated. Hello, my name is James. But with Synthesia, you can do a lot more than just simply create some text-to-speech. On the left, we've actually got scenes and you can add and create a bunch of different scenes also based off of templates and have different text-to-speech segments per scene. So for example, on the first one, we could have like the titled scene and we could have this, hello, my name is James. And on the second one, we could have some different text-to-speech. And what's super cool is if I click here, as you can see, I can actually go and change the voice. So for example, if I wanted a different voice, I could just choose this Alex one right here. And now if we preview it. This is the same title screen layout you can use to introduce your- Awesome, or I can go ahead and choose this one. This is the same title screen layout you can use. As you can see, I can choose any voice I want. And then if I wanted actually different speaker or a different avatar, I can go ahead and choose that as well. But that's a very simple and easy way to create text-to-speech avatars with Synthesia's AI and make videos just by typing. Now, if you have any questions about how to use Synthesia, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.